Mitch McConnell, the GOP and corporate lobbyists are exploiting a global pandemic to make their rich friends and donors even richer. Thanks to McConnell and the GOP, the CARES Act passed by Congress to rescue working families drowning in the coronavirus crisis included a $135 billion tax break to benefit millionaires, owners of hedge funds, private equity firms, and real estate tycoons. A new reporting shows that a provision slipped into the CARES Act overwhelmingly benefits millionaires and will cost taxpayers $90 billion in 2020 alone. Thanks to this giant tax loophole, 43,000 millionaires received at least $1.6 million each this year in their CARES package. That's $1,200 for you and $1.6 million for them. These millionaires got more money than the CARES Act is spending on hospitals and public health and three times more than was spent on safe net services like food and housing assistance. And let's not forget who else can benefit from this loophole. The Trump family and son-in-law, Jared Kushner. Some 40 million Americans have lost their jobs due to the pandemic. Millions still employed are forced to work in unsafe conditions. 16 million have already lost healthcare coverage during this massive healthcare crisis. People of color are disproportionately falling victim to the coronavirus. Instead of addressing these crises, the Republican Party thought it was more important to pass a $135 billion tax break for millionaires. Here's some really good news. The House of Representatives has just passed a permanent repeal of this outrageous tax loophole. Now the Senate must act. Repealing this loophole and making that permanent would raise $250 billion from rich business owners and corporations. That's money that could be spent on maintaining state and local public services communities depend on, such as public safety, health care, schools, housing, and sanitation. Senator Bernie Sanders and other members of Congress are demanding that aid go to those who actually need it, not to big wigs on Wall Street. We have to fight as hard as we can to repeal this huge tax break for the richest 1%.